What's up, ladies and gentlemen? I am Kruger with a C. How are you? I hope that today is going fine, but if not, I hope tomorrow gets better. Someone recommend that I react to Lecrae, Deep End, so let's do it. 320 over at Cup, and all of them sat on this man. Family is demanding answers today. The death mm. of a front line I think I see what we're headed at with this. I've been trying not to go off the deep end. Give me a reason. I've been trying not to stay on point. I've been trying to see my voice, but y'all gave me no choice. The world gone mad, can't ignore this noise. Look at these people found dead in the streets. I got some partners that hate the police. Me, I'm just trying to hold on to my peace, because I'm liable to lose it and go get the peace. I need a reason. I need a season. Fill it with Jesus. I'm just grieving. They be like, if you're in what you believe in. I do not trip. I keep it cheap. What in the H you sing in the I? Ain't no JK, but I'm talking to God. Don't need a reason to open my eyes. If I'm still breathing, I'm running for my man. Oh, yeah, I've been doing better than I was. Before I walk with the lip, cause I've been wrestling with the Holy Ghost. Deep in dirty spit, but still somehow I keep on floating. Oh, thought I lost my grip, but God reminded me it's holy. Oh, 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 I might go crazy, I might go MJ back in the 80s, back in the 90s. I might go off, or they better not try me. It might get dicey, I ain't trying to go back to the old me. I'm trying to hang on like my mama told me. Sometimes legs get weak and your arms give out and you sink to the bottom slowly. A grown man wishing that somebody hold me. Never knew my daddy, so nobody showed me. Taught me how to walk through the storm when your heart feel heavy and it's hard and you feel lonely. But low key, high priest got the keys to the kingdom. High key, low enough to bring him. And I need all of what he bringing. I might go off the deep end, I just need another reason. Yeah, yeah. I've been doing better than I was before. I walk with the lip, cause I've been wrestling with the Holy Ghost. Deep in dirty spit, but still somehow I keep on floating. Oh, thought I lost my grip, but God reminded me it's holy. Oh, 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 All right, let's talk about it. And, um, let's be real about it. You know, um, over the last couple of weeks, I've had I have had my uh, opinions challenged. I've had my thinking challenged. You know, I've been really trying to get myself in the frame of thinking that I really don't have to have much to be worried about. But the more I try to do that, the more I see, I don't think that's so easy to do. You know, um, it's always some type of fight. You know, there's always some things uh, that's going on. And I can't say that lately. I would say in the last couple years that I have really not experienced anything directly racial towards me i will say that or if i have i didn't notice it you understand what i'm saying but a lot of that is because i don't i don't go to certain places or i don't do certain things or i may not be in this the environment that would allow that to happen to me okay so what i'm saying is that i feel like a lot of people want us to say uh there's no such thing as oppression there's no such thing as racism so i hear i hear people say that and uh they're gonna say that um there's no aim targeted to to hurt black people 
And uh, sometimes I agree and sometimes I don't. Uh, I always try to look at things, the whole picture. I don't try to just take a piece of this right here and say, well, this is what happened, so this is my final conclusion. <clears throat> I try to look at the whole picture and process things that way. But a lot of times, you try to process like that, and there's still no answer for the stuff that we see. Now, I will say this. I do believe that the media portrays a lot of images to be worse than what they are. I believe that the media has a hand in making things seem differently than what they really are. And and I believe that that shapes our thinking. And that gives us a, a, a different look at things. But I will say the media is the cause of a lot of this division. Because if, if you weren't looking at one news channel telling you this and the other news channel telling you this, but somebody that will give you a real story and the, the particulars of that story and the truth of that story, I believe that things will be seen in a different light. But we only are getting fed what we see on TV. We don't really know the full stories. But I can say this. I don't think a lot of people deserve to die by the hand of the police the way they did. So um, when this video first came on, I kind of knew where it was going. When I saw those pictures, and you saw those pictures, this ain't the first time you saw the pictures of, of these people. If it is, then you probably just haven't been tuned in. But for the most part, we, we know these stories. We know what happened. And it's saddening. And it's, it's, it's a... It's a Real hard thing to process, and especially when you black. Now nah, you thinking when if I get pulled over by the police, I have to be on guard. I have to be extra careful of what I do. And I'm gonna tell you this story, and I and I'm um get out of here. I was at work one night, and it was a car that was pulled up in the uh, driveway. And they was coming to pick their son up from work. And it was a group of people, and it wasn't all black people. It was black and white sitting out there. And it was like, I don't understand why they uh, pulled up here. And I said, well, who's driving? They said the boy's name, and they said the parents. I said, oh. I said, the reason they pulled up there is because cameras are up here. I said, that's a dark road down there. I said, we black people don't think the same. I said, well, we think somewhere, if we get pulled over, we got to pull over somewhere where there's cameras. That's how we think. And the person was like, I never thought of that. And the person wasn't black. So I just say that we have a different way of thinking when it comes to certain things, certain topics. And I don't know if it's all illusion. I don't think it's illusion. I think it's my reality. And I have to condition. I'm, I've been conditioned to think a certain way when I get stopped. Now, is that good or bad? Look at history. That's all I would say. But it's all about it's about survival, and it's about making it home at the end of the day. And I don't really want to have uh, any negative connotation around my thoughts, but this is how I think. This is this is how I feel. But as far as the video, I thought it was a good video. Um, I feel like what Lecrae is saying is that how much more do he have to take? How much more does, does, does this same narrative have to be played out? And when is there going to be a change about it? Because you look back over the video, you saw years of the same thing, marching and protesting. And the same thing is still happening. So let me know what you think. Drop it in the comment section. And let's open an honest, respectful dialogue around this. Until the next time, I'm Kruger with a C. Peace.